This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, business partner customer. Okay, so in S4 HANA, uh, the customers are called as business partner. So that we will be covering. So the reason for covering this customer is in CS module, we will be dealing with the customer all the time. We sell our product to the customer. And if customer gives any complaint, we will be dealing with the customer all the time. So that is the reason we are uh, trying to understand the uh, customer master creation. everything. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is business partner customer over you uh, business partner approach in SAP S4 HANA okay and then we will understand uh, to create a business partner we need business partner category business partner role and business partner grouping so all these three we will understand okay then we will create a business partner customer in the system in the system and what data we need to maintain in the business partner customer we will understand and partner functions for customer so these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, uh, customer master, business partner master. okay so first we will understand what is business partner okay what is customer why it is used uh, how how the business partner is different from uh, ecc okay all those things we will understand okay so business partners are any parties in which your company has a business interest so business partner can be not only customer it can be anything it can be a vendor okay or it can be an internal employee or an outside uh, uh, technician service technician or anybody with whom we have the business interest so those are called business partners so in our cs we use customer customer basically mainly we will be dealing with customer the customer master includes all data necessary for processing our service orders, our deliveries, invoices, and the payments. Payments are the payments we are going to receive from the customer. All these things, all the relevant data is maintained in the customer master. Okay. The master data of customers and also suppliers is managed in SAP S4 HANA by using business partner master data. So basically, uh, if you if you recollect in ECC in ECC uh, to create a customer we use the transactions XD01 change XD02 and the display XD03 in ECC but in S4 HANA only one transaction only one transaction transaction that is BP to create change and display so they removed all these transactions even if you try to log go to this transaction system will redirect you to bp bp transaction and the same transaction is used not only for suppliers or customers not only for customers it is also for vendors suppliers and yes, of course this is a vendor okay. we will see this transaction okay uh, by using this approach by using this approach it is possible to centrally maintain the master data for suppliers and customers that's what i just explained okay centrally you maintain all the master data for your customers and also suppliers in sap erp they were handled separately that's what i just explained okay the business partner master data can be maintained with the transaction bp the only that single transaction is bp okay or by using a corresponding app from the sap fiery launchpad when we go to fiery we will discuss this we will discuss this okay so basically the business partner as i just explained he can he can be an organization or he can be a group or he can be a person with whom we have some business interest so this business partner can be a customer or can be a supplier or can be an internal employee or he can be a it can be another separate outside plant okay or he can be a prospective uh, customer or supplier okay so or you are an outside when auditor okay or you are uh, uh, independent uh, uh, what you call government organization okay all these are termed as business partners in the system 
okay so now let's continue okay so now from cs module perspective from customer service module perspective we will be having external business partners and also we will be having internal business partners external business partners are nothing but your customers because we are selling our product to the customer and then customer gives some complaints or you have some uh, annual maintenance contract with the customers so you have to deal with the customers okay and you are vendors okay suppose let's say you need some raw materials okay spare parts okay for the repair activity then you have to purchase them from vendors so all these are external business partners with whom we are going to deal okay and also suppose let's say uh, uh, at the customer site one uh, one equipment is not working your your technician your organization technicians are not able to uh, repair that then you have a you you hire a uh, uh, technician from a supplier from a vendor third party vendor and you send that third party technician to the customer place so in those scenarios you have to deal with vendors so all these are external business partners now at the same time you have your internal business partners so like your service employees your service technician who does the repair activity and your service agents okay who receives the who receives the call from the customers okay and they enter the customer complaints in the system in the form of notification or back office employees so all these are internal business partners so so in cs we are going to deal with external business partners and also with internal business partners <coughs> okay so let's continue so now uh, as i just explained single transaction to create business partner in s4 hana is bp business partner okay so now let's go to the system we'll we'll create the business partner okay so if i go to the system Let's log into the system. Oh, the system is down, it seems. Okay. Let's try it in this system as of now. Okay. So suppose even if I try type XP01. It will take you to the business partner you see you see the system will redirect you to the business partner you see create business partner i, I will select organization continue so it will take you to the bp screen bp transaction see now we are into bp transaction basically bp it will take you to bp business partner okay so or another method is you directly go to the transaction do you want to sell them let's say yes okay so either you just type bp transaction enter you are, you are into that bp so they have removed this xd01 xd02 xd03 in the s4 okay so now so while creating the business partner you need to understand a few terminologies suppose i'll just show you if let's say i want to create a business partner i'll click on this create organization i'll come to this person organization and group so here you have to understand three three terminologies basically first is first is your bp category business partner category next one is business partner grouping business partner grouping grouping and the last one is business partner role these three terminologies we need to understand we will discuss them one by one and then we will create a customer okay first is business partner category so as i just told we have to understand three terminologies one is business partner category first one second one business partner grouping grouping and the third one is business partner role these three we need to understand so first let's start with business partner category okay so we will we'll start with the business category business partner category okay 
so when a business partner is created the business partner category must be selected so it is mandatory without selecting a category you cannot 